right, we're uh, we made it through Indianapolis. Uh, we're in Pittsburgh, Indiana, at uh, at a rest area. It's nice and quiet. It's nice and quiet this morning. Not too many trucks. It's not a bad rest area. Uh, it's a little chilly out here. I had to get my hat out. So it's like I think it's like 37, something like that. So winter is starting to get here. There's the old Cali dog sitting in the truck up there. Truck's doing good. This is what we got. We got a little mini excavator. And we got a little skid steer. So uh, nothing too complicated. Uh, tying these down. I just always look for the, uh, the tie down point right there. So uh, they're fairly easy not too complicated same thing back here tie down point so let's see here we'll uh, walk over here but, uh, they're pretty easy nice easy weekend load so we got to deliver uh, we're going to deliver this one first there's actually two stops we got to deliver that one first and then uh, deliver the little excavator second. Um, this one is actually going to Coal Valley, Illinois, which is just outside of Rock Island. And the little excavator is going to Rock Island. So, uh, but everything looks riding pretty good here. And then, uh, I guess the only really weird thing is, is whenever you have uh, the arm like this, uh, you got to put a strap across the arm right there just keep it from bouncing around and then I took uh, a little piece of carpet and uh, put on there just to kind of help it from scratching my trailer and help from scratching the, the little arm but uh, trucks doing good everything else is is doing good let's see here uh, I was I did think about uh, I was thinking about washing the truck, but as you can see, it's kind of hazy. I don't know if it's going to rain or not, so uh, I might hold off. But uh, from right here, we got about another 200 and something miles to go. Uh, I haven't quite sure where we're going to go yet. I'm either going to go to the um, truck stop in Walcott, but that's going to put us like 30 miles away. We have to actually drive past where we have to go, or we might go to a little um, pilot truck stop. So um, I really, really don't have any need to go to the Walcott truck stop. I thought about it, but I really don't have a need. So I might just go down to the little pilot. And then from the little pilot, it'll give us about 20 miles where we got to go in the morning. So, But other than that, pretty uneventful. So not too much going on. It's just a little chilly out here. So, uh, so anyway, let's get back in the truck. Let's get going and uh, finish this day. So talk to you in a bit. All right, good morning. It is Monday morning. We uh, we got a busy day ahead of us. We got um, we're gonna go deliver our little pieces of machinery. We got a skid steer and a mini excavator, two drops, um, and then we're gonna go pick up our reload out of Rock Island, going down to North Carolina. So we got a busy, a busy Monday. We're gonna try to drive as long as Rock Island goes good. It's been a long time since I've loaded over there, but uh, as long as Rock Island goes good, and we can get out of there at a decent time. We're gonna try to make it all the way down into Ohio. That's the plan. So we're at a pilot truck stop. Um, this truck stop's not too bad. They got a, a big parking area over here too. Um, they don't have much for amenities, meaning food restaurants, but uh, they got enough. You can get pizza in there and stuff like that. I, I ate out of the truck last night. I had a salad. Had a salad. Um, we got a busy week. And I'm looking forward to that because once we get this week over with, we are heading home. So excited about that. But uh, we're going to have to run through the woods for a 
about 20 miles, actually 23 miles, to deliver our first little piece of equipment. So, I will see you when we get to where we need to be. So, talk to you in a bit. no trucks so as long as I don't see no sign that says no trucks I guess I'm all right but let's see we're almost there hang on all right it looks like we're where we need to be this is supposed to be some like a uh, test facility uh, so maybe that's why it's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere but uh, let me uh, let me get checked in and find out what's going on, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hi, right, that didn't take long at all. We were here for a total of 11 minutes. So off to the next one. We've got about. Uh, 12 miles to the next drop off so it's like a uh, test facility I believe or a demonstration facility I think is what they were calling it quite interesting So, all right, let me uh, let's get over to the next one, and uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. slash coordinator and they have canceled my three little shipments that I had for Wednesday Thursday and Friday so I still have to find something to do for the uh, Wednesday Thursday and Friday and over the weekend so I still pick up my load on Monday out of South Carolina but I, I feel pretty confident we'll find something at least my load going to North Carolina didn't cancel or my load out of South Carolina going to Arizona didn't cancel so I can deal with I can deal with those couple of days 
shipment right now. So, but uh, yeah, they were good little shipments too. They were three little shipments. I'm supposed to pick one up and deliver it eight miles. Pretty much just went right around the block. And I was supposed to do that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But uh, anyway, so anyway, we will figure it out. Um, let me uh, let me get in here, check in, get this little uh, mini excavator unloaded, and uh, I'll check with you guys in just a minute. So I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, we are done over here. Took all of 21 minutes and about five, eight minutes of that was me doing paperwork. So no time at all. I just got to get in position to uh, get out of here. But uh, so now we're on our way over to Rock Island Arsenal. And what we're gonna pick up is some, what they call military paraphernalia. So it's been a long, long time since I've loaded over here. Uh, most likely it will be a Humvee. Well, it could be a trailer, could be anything, but usually it's a Humvee. So once we get out of here, head over there we're about uh, I don't know probably about 12 12 miles away won't take long we kind of got to go the long way to get in there because um, we got to go the truck route but uh, no this one easy this was a nice easy load this was easy load and an easy unload so Still no word on a shipment for Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, but uh, we'll see if we can come up with something. So, all right, let me get out of here and head over to Rock Island. I'll check with you. I'll check in with you guys as uh, when I get over there to the gate. Once I get to the gate, got to turn everything off. So, all right. I will see you guys when we get there. Alright, we got loaded and uh, we're in, uh, we're still in Illinois. Uh, I don't know where we're at. We got about, uh, we got about another 100 miles less left in Illinois uh, before we get over to Indiana. We're going to try to get on the other side of Indianapolis. Um, Day. that's kind of our goal but uh, let's take a look at what we got we got a Humvee it's really it's really windy out here so uh, hopefully you guys can hear me uh, one Humvee and uh, it's a light one it's not the armor plated so uh, it only weighs about 10,000 pounds like 9,800 pounds but uh, super easy to load that's it so uh, just chain on the tie downs right there come down to the little pop-ups uh, and then the chain in the middle is just the slack I hung it up over the middle there to uh, to uh, just get it out of the way but uh, no nah, it's an easy one nice and light uh, same thing back here just a uh, chain on the tie downs right there you can see where the tie downs are come down now I like uh, I like ratchet binders loading vehicles um, because you can really crank down on them and compress the suspension um, let's see here and then over here you can see the same thing now let me walk around the other side I'll explain something to you uh, we've uh, we've been we got uh, we did book another load for tomorrow going uh, not tomorrow for Wednesday out of North Carolina so uh, uh, Wednesday to Thursday is just a little hop. Make up for we lost our three loads. I told you guys earlier today we lost our three loads. So uh, let me. Yeah, uh, hey, that's a busy rest area right through here. I didn't realize this rest area was so busy. 
All right, let's uh, let's take a look at here. Let me show you something. Now, I do recommend that you use ratchet binders for vehicles because, like I said, you can compress the suspension. Now, one trick is is if you do not have four ratchet binders and you have two and a lever binder is go ahead and put your lever binders on either the front or the rear put your lever binders on and then go to the other end of the vehicle and put your ratchet binders on and then you can ratchet your binders and then what happens is it ends up pulling the vehicle a little bit forward and it'll tighten up your ratchet binders even tighter because what happens if if you, if you really start cranking down on your ratchet binders you'll end up just dragging the vehicle forward so you have to go ahead and put them in the back tighten them down snug them up then I always come back up to the front crank them down then I go back to the rear and then crank them down some more so uh, um, but that's a little trick and yeah so I, I, so I, I like the ratchet binders you can just get it tighter so uh, so anyway all right let's get out of here it's uh it's really windy out here I've already took Callie out so she's good to go um, we're gonna try to get on the other side of Indianapolis uh, I would like to get a shower so hopefully we can find somewhere uh, I got fuel today at Love's I, oh I did stop for fuel got love at Love's uh, so hopefully I can get a shower but all right let's get going and uh, talk to you guys when we stop talk to you later bye all right that's the end of the day uh, we are in Richmond Indiana we got about uh, just a little under 500 miles to go tomorrow over to uh, we're going to uh, Greensboro North Carolina is where we're going so um, tomorrow tomorrow's a lot of driving and uh, it's not an easy what I call easy driving um, the today was just easy driving get on the interstate set the cruise and go uh, tomorrow we're gonna go over to Dayton uh, we're gonna go to highway 35 run 35 all the way down into West Virginia and uh, I think we're gonna pick up 64 in West Virginia and take it down to 77 and go that way I think I think I, I'll look at the map again but that's the way of planning on going so all in all, today wasn't too bad. Um, we do got a reload on Wednesday. Um, so uh, it's not a great reload, but it's okay. Keep me busy. We're gonna deliver that on Thursday. Maybe we'll get lucky, find a nice little short one on Thursday for Friday. So anyway, all right, today's done. I just fed Callie. She's good to go. She's happy. She waited a long time for dinner. It's uh, it's eight o'clock here, so I usually try to feed her about five. So uh, she did good. All right, uh, talk to you tomorrow. Uh, just driving tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Bye.